Hey everybody, this video brings me, John, and Mike back out to Fency's Flea Market. And of course, the reason why we are at Fency's Flea Market is to check out, once again, the video game Ooh, Movie no. Dome. It has been, what, like yeah, over yeah. a month yeah. since we've last yeah. been there, which is kind of crazy. I have not been here in over a month. That is sad to say, but I am pretty excited to see what exactly Pam has gotten in. I know she has some stuff on hold for me. I have some stuff, actually, I gotta go back to the van at some point. I've got some stuff to trade in, and already, I'm picking up some Bubba Hotep on Blu-ray thanks to uh, John here who just sold this to me for, for $5. He was going to trade it in and said, nah, just give me five bucks for it. So I just rules. I just upgraded from uh, from DVD to Blu-ray. I am pretty happy about that. But anyway, all right, like I said, even though I got to go back to the van, we're going to go inside first and see what exactly Pam has because we're going to get we're gonna get some good deals. I'm excited. It's a video game movie down. It's Fancy Sweet Market. Movie, movie let's, game video. Let's get the deals. Pamela! It's been so long since I've said that. Oh my gosh, it feels good to say Pamela once again with my voice all <clears throat> squeaking, going through puberty. Don't mind me. Anyway, look at all the stuff Pamela has gotten in. I mean, the, these cases are completely filled. You have gotten a lot of stuff in yes. over the last month. This is going to be nuts. I, I'm going to have to go through all this and find out exactly what it is I want to pick up. I don't really, well, I have a little bit of sore critics. I'm trading some stuff in, but this, yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to call it right now. All my store credit, whatever I trade in is going to be gone. And I might be diving into my, my wallet. But you know what? I'm okay with that. I'm sure Pam doesn't mind. All right. So uh, I guess we'll just start things off by finding out what exactly it is that Pamela has on hold for me. Wow. That's a, that's a larger stack of stuff than I had anticipated. So all right, Death Wish, de de Death Wish, de Death Wish three. I can't, I can't talk this morning. Death Wish three. I believe I have um, one and two on Blu-ray. I needed to upgrade uh, three to Blu-ray. Oh wait, and and four. I forget how I have these. I think I had them like in a set or something like that. And I don't know. I need to split them up or or get them on. Blu I want to say I have one and two on Blu-ray, and then I think I have like one, two, and one, two, three, and four like in a in a Death Wish set or something like that. Which I think is why I need these. We'll find out when I get home. I have no idea. I need them though. They're on my they're on my list. Collateral, which I also have in a multi feature set. Uh, Alexander revis or yeah, Alexander revisited the final cut. Also have that in a multi feature set. Radio Flyer, guess what? Also in a multi feature set. And then um, all right, things I oh wait no I lied. Uh, well, so, sort of Iron Man, which I I also have in a multi feature set, but I want to upgrade to four K. But I'm still keeping that multi feature set. It's a really cool briefcase. It has like three D titles and it. Weird, I know. I'm a weird, weird person. I'm picking up Iron Man 4K. That's awesome. I'm trying to get all the the first, um, what do they call it? The first fa phase one? Phase so, one. Fa I'm trying to get all the phase one movies in 4K at some point. That's uh, that's my goal. Then Black Adam, which I haven't actually seen yet. Looking forward to checking that out. I've heard mixed things about Black Adam. Have any of you guys seen, have you guys seen Black Adam? Yes. Was it good? Black Adam. Was it good? Black Adam was okay. Pam, did you see it? I did not yet. Okay, so I don't know. Do you, you, don't ask me. All right, well, I'm looking forward to checking it out. You guys leave comments down below. Any good? And then this I'm pretty excited about. I hate the packaging for this, though, but it's the Mummy Ultimate Trilogy 4K Blu-ray digital HD set. That is amazing. That's what you... Didn't you pick that up last time you yeah, were here? Yeah, you any better at opening it. <sighs> wow. <laughs> there we go. It's open. That magnet is crazy strong, but yeah, unfortunately, they're all in sleeves, which means I'm going to have to... Um, take them all out and put them into proper cases, but still, it's awesome to have these in 4K. So, all right, that's um, probably a good chunk of my short credit already now gone, and I'm seeing she's got some new, like, horror titles in here. I, yeah, there's definitely some interesting things, like House on the Edge of the Park and Last House, was it Last House in, on Massacre Street? Like, that's interesting. There's all kinds of other 4K. Look at the, the Hitchcock collection she's got there. Uh, that's the one I got on DVD that was minus the uh, one. Well, there it is on 4K. Uh -huh. You should buy it, so I'm not tempted to buy it. You should buy it, so I'm not going to. Ha, huh. yeah. So I think I'm already possibly finding something else I want to pick up, and that is Stargirl, the complete second season. According to my lists, I don't have any of these in my collection yet. I don't know how many seasons of this have been put out. You guys can let me know, leave a comment down below, but I don't have season one of this. Do you have season one, Pam? Do you know? Yes, I do. You, oh, yes. you have a copy of season one? Yes. It's pretty okay. I'm, I'm pretty, <laughs> pretty sure I don't own any Stargirl in my collection. That <laughs> The cover art looks really familiar, but you were saying there's like another show, a like DC show that has like very similar artwork. So yeah, I might like be thinking of that. DC Legends or something like that. Would, that would make sense. Yeah, they all, they're all kind of the same show, aren't they? Yeah. All right. I think, I think I need this. It's not on my list. So I think I'm picking up this and apparently season one, if you have it. Yeah. 
You look very confused. Are you? I mean, I mean, are you? Confused with. Ah. Uh, uh, no, I had Titans. Never mind. I have. Titans. She got them Titans. What is on my? I got hair stuck to my face. Anyway, I got hair in my face, and you're building me up, and you're throwing me down. Thanks a lot. I'll just grab season two, I guess. So John was nice enough as he's um, down there. There, there he is. Wait, John, bend down. There he is looking through all the stuff in the case. He grabbed me the, um, the double feature set here of, what is this house on the edge of the park and last house on a massacre street. I have never seen either of these movies. I guess they're both from, oh no, no, 1973 and 1980. So almost both in the seventies. Yeah, I've never heard of these. I know nothing about these. They're, I mean, it's, it, it's brand new factory sealed. It's horror. Should, should I buy these? I think I'm gonna buy these. I'm, in, I'm intrigued by this. I, I don't even like put up by code red. Region free, interesting. If you guys have seen these, leave a comment down below. I'm hoping they're good. What's that? <gasps> Titanic? It's on a VHS. Who cares? I'm buying these. Okay, so we've come over into the uh, first nook. I guess we'll call it the first nook now because she has mm -hmm. not not one, but two other nooks here now dual in the nooks. dual dual, dual nookin over here in the uh, mm -hmm. the video game movie. Yeah, dual nookin. Over the video game movie yeah, dome, yeah. and um, I'm seeing some pretty interesting things over here. I mean, she's got Do the Right Thing Criterion, I need that. The new Zoo Review, I need that. There's I other. All for the Nookie, I need that. And the cookie, so you can stick it up your. Blah. Anyway, so yeah, I'm, I'm definitely seeing some, uh, yeah, yeah. some things. <laughs> what? Hmm? I'm seeing some things in here I need. I'm thinking what I also, I, I think I need when, when Maureen was there. I don't think I have that. Pam, I, I need the keys. Okay, so I think I um, figured out everything I want from the case. So I am definitely grabbing the uh, the when what's this, when Marine was there. I don't think I have this. It's not on, the name sounds familiar, but it's not on my list. So I want to say I I don't own that. So I'm gonna grab that. This is amazing. I didn't even know this was a thing. The new Zoo Review season one for only fifteen dollars. Again, I had no idea this even existed. I knew there were some like random DVDs out there. I have some of those. I have some of the VHS releases, but I had no idea they did season releases of this. Were there more season releases of this? If there were, leave a comment down below. That's pretty amazing. And then I'm also grabbing the uh, Do the Right Thing Think Do the Right Thing Criterion Collection release because I don't have this in my Criterion Collection release. I have the non-Criterion release of that. So pretty awesome. Definitely grabbing those. And then. I'm picking up these as well. That's dancing. That's pretty awesome. I believe out of print, well, out of print on DVD, only available through Warner Archives DVD art program. So pretty awesome. National Lampoon's Clash Reunion, which I already have, but I have it in a multi-feature set. It comes with like two other National Lampoon movies, like newer ones that I don't really care about. This has a bunch of special features on it. So I think I'm gonna get this and uh, probably just get rid of the other set that has the other two movies in it that I don't really want in my collection anyway. And then, yes, the 20th Century Masters, the best of Olivia Newton-John, because I wanna get physical with Olivia. Well, that that's... <laughs> Rest in peace, Olivia Newton John. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't make that joke. But anyway, back um, back in the day, I wanted to get physical with a uh, Olivia Newton John. This is pretty awesome. That's cool for uh, what five dollars. Brand new factory sealed. Definitely grabbing that. So I think that's everything I want out of the case. I think possibly. I don't know. I'm seeing some other stuff that's tempting, but I think for right now, I'm gonna be good. Just go with this, and that's probably the last of my store credit. Yeah, I'm officially diving into my own pocket now. I'm all out of uh, store credit, but that's that's okay. Not, nothing wrong with that. I can I can spend a little cash here. I'm thinking I also need planes, trains, and automobiles on Blu-ray. I want to say I don't have this on Blu-ray. I think I only have it on DVD, and I was gonna pick it up on Blu-ray over um, it was a Black Friday, but but John over there was like, oh no, they're doing a 4K release of it, right? John, John's not even listening. When you when you told me not to buy this. Because there was, there was a 4K release. You know what? Down the road, here we are. And I was so wrong. And now you have it in your hands. Look at that. Planes, trains, and automobiles. What? Auto anyway, so the reason I didn't pick it up is because uh, John was saying there's a 4K release coming out that has, like, um, like deleted extended. scenes and stuff, or extended scenes or something like that. An hour of footage. But supposedly, the 4K release is, like, a garbage release. Apparently, the the transfer was, like, terrible. Yep. Or so I'm told. Anyway, so apparently the Blu-ray is actually the one you want to have. So I'm thinking... I'm gonna pick this up. Right, John? Automobiles. What? Right? Automobiles. Pay attention. Planes. Come on, keep, keep, Planes. keep up, John. Keep up. Okay, I might be calling it quits now. I don't know, I'm gonna skim a little bit more, but I think that's everything I'm picking up. But John here, he's grabbing himself some 
Sphere, a Sphere poster. That's pretty awesome. I don't know who you think John is. I'm Sharon Stone. I'm sorry, Stone. Sharon, Sharon Stone here is buying, buying herself uh, a copy of herself on Basic Sphere. Yeah. <laughs> why, why, why should we watch Basic uh, you Instinct? Know. <laughs> You're not going to get it. So, all right. Are you also picking up these? Sharon, huh? Sharon Stone, are you also picking up these? Oh, yeah. Okay, so Sharon Stone is also grabbing um, the season two of uh, Breaking Bad, the X-Men Origins Wolverine. Oh, wow, that is... Great movie. Terrible. <laughs> Wait. I know, but it's better than that movie. It's it's better than Transformers Age of Extinction? Oh, yeah. it's oh, oh. awful, but it's better than okay. that. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. So you're grabbing that because you said you have only it's the single awesome. disc release? I think I do, yeah. Okay. And, and then you're also... Slip cover. Oh, all right. And you're also grabbing uh, Blind Spotting. I haven't I seen that. I preview for that like looked good? five years ago. And it, all right. It did look good. Cool. So, all right. Good. Good. Go pick up, Sharon. Going to get cultural. Good. Oh, wonderful. Uh, good. Good pick up. I rolled her up and left her... <laughs> You son of a... <laughs> and the mic's only picking up, what, one, one title here? You're grabbing... Tw wait, is it 20,000 20, Leagues Under the Sea? Who remembers that SNL skit? That's pretty awesome. I love this movie. I, the music from yeah, it, it's fantastic. Like it too, yeah. Have you seen it? Mm -hmm. It's got a giant squid, which counts as a giant monster, yes, right? That's part of my... Are there, shark, are there sharks in it? I don't know, maybe. There's a shark in it, let me know. That's awesome. All right, good good, good pickup. What do you pay for that? Like five, five bucks for that? Bucks, yeah. Awesome deal. So, all right, I'm thinking... Maybe we're, we're done. Maybe I, so. I kind of want to spend more money. I haven't been I haven't been here like over a month. I want to. This pile's nice, but it could be bigger. Hold on, wait a minute. There's actually still one more title I want to pick up. I was I was eyeing this up and thinking about it, but I decided I'm I'm gonna grab it because Pam said she would just do ten dollars on the electric chair. Another movie I've actually never seen before. If you have, again, leave a comment down below, but. It is by the director of Axe and Body Shop, which I do own. I, I know those movies, so I'm I'm intrigued by this. I think That's I'm gonna electrify. pick. I think I'm gonna pick. Is it is, is it hydromatic? Hydro Thunder. It's Grease Lightning. Hydro Hydromatic's a pump I work on. You just you just made a comment that actually applies to my life in too many ways. You, you good? What? I'm and on. Pam Pam's over here singing Grease Lightning now. <laughs> anyway, this is the this is the this is the oh my god the fun of flirting with John. I am picking uh, I am picking up the electric chair. It looks interesting. It's by a director I'm intrigued by. It's brand new factory sealed. It's a it's another it's another co an unopened factory sealed code red release. I'm picking this up. I'm only spending twenty dollars out of pocket. Oh my god! I'm only spending twenty dollars out of pocket now. I'm happy with my fines. I'm gonna call it quits. I'm gonna get as far away from John as I possibly can now. I'm going home. All right, guys, so that's gonna do it for the video game movie dome. As always, again, Pamela, thank you. Hi, high fives to Pamela. <laughs> so as always, thank you, Pamela, so much for all the amazing deals and all the goodies. Again, if you guys are looking for anything, hit up Pamela, I'll put links down below to all her stuff, her, her YouTube channel, her Facebook, her Instagram, all that stuff. Definitely hit her up, as I always say, She's the guru of finding things. She can probably find you what you're looking for. And it's only five, so, still five dollars? Still five dollars flat rate shipping. Whether you order, you, you want a copy of Night of Living Dead on Blu-ray, five bucks. You want literally everything in this counter, it's only gonna cost you five dollars shipping. Awesome, amazing deal. Pretty fantastic. So hit her up if you're looking for something. But that's gonna do it. So as always, guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and of course, check down below for links to Patreon, Spreadshirt, and the Cinema Sickness store. It came from Cinema Sickness. Also, check down below for a link to... Sharks and Monsters fan on Instagram. And check down below for a link to... Some of the bowls on Instagram. And again, I'll put links to all of Pamela's stuff down below as well. Also, check down below for a link to my second channel, Retro Rest Stop for Daily Adventures. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye!